Yes. So when we play Alan cards, three things we have to consider. First is a sequence. That if I have taken one, two, three, it should be Padani, Dani, Sa, Nisare, like that. That should run in the, into our mind. Second thing is a breath. Many times we have this misbelief that if we can play so many notes in one breath, that is good. Actually, this is not the fact. What is the fact is if you can play the same note for the longer time, that is good. Okay, just one note for let's say 30 seconds, 40 seconds, one minute, that is good. But if you are playing something sequential, okay, like this alankas or tan, there the smartness is how pretty well you take the breath, how periodically you take the breath. So what I want to convey is through alankar we will learn how to take breath periodically. Suppose if I am playing one, two, three, rather than going padani, dani, sa, ni, sa, re, sa, re, so long in a one breath. You divide it into two phrase or maybe into four phrase, maximum four phrase. That means, you have to take the breath after fourth. Better you just take it in a two. Like this. Okay. So when we play Alankar, always think about where you will take breath. And once whatever frequency that we have set, we should go through that frequency after every two phrases or after every four phrase. So suppose if we start with the first alanka, there there is no phrase. Each note is phrase itself. Okay. So we'll take breath after four notes. Padani sa re ga ma pa like this. Okay. So I set the tempo so that everybody will play together. Now see what is the role of tempo? What is the role of beat? Music has a two dimension. One is a frequency, okay, what we call as a swar. Sarega ma padani. It's a frequency uh, graph. And another is a time. That right? if you play sa for how long? Okay. When you should start playing sa and for how long it will last? Where you start should start playing re and how long it will last. Okay. So that is called lai. Swar and lai. Swar means the frequency, lai means the time. Okay. So we need some indication that can help you to start and stop the note okay and those indication it is known as a beat in hindi we say matra okay so it's a beat so beat is a uniform time interval which is uh, uh, you know described with the sound suppose if i said this as a 60 beat 60 bpm see So this each sound is a uniform. Okay, tick, 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 and through this sound we get the indication that we can start the note at one sound. By the next sound it can be finished. Or if you want to extend, then you can extend like sa. But then you have a calculation that we had a four beat for sa. Fine. But most, most, mostly we do. We'll have one beat, one note. Sa, re, ga. Ma, pa. Okay. The note should not access the beat or should not come before the beat. The both ways are wrong. It should be exactly under the beat. Okay. See. One, 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 one. Sa, re, ga, ma, pa, ta, ni, sa, sa, ni, da, pa, ma, ga, re. So, so th through this indication, we know that this is the time to start the note. This is the time to stop the note. Okay. Now, this beat has a speed. Okay. How sooner you will get the second beat, or how delay you will get the second beat. So that speed of the beat, it is known as a tempo. When we say tempo, it's a speed of the beat, okay. and it is calculated in a BPM, beats per minute. Like this sound was at a 60 BPM. That means with this speed, we can have 60 beats in one minute, which is equal to one second, like tick, 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 tick. So whenever we, we are starting to play anything with the beat, the first thing that comes into our mind, what is the tempo? What is the speed? What it can be 60 BPM, it can be 70 BPM. So if somebody says 70 BPM means your one beat time will be lesser than one second for sure, because you have to accommodate 70 such beats into one minute. That means it will be going to lesser time for one beat, one than one second. Okay. If your one beat is one second, that is your B BPM is 60 BPM, okay, which is equal to one second. Okay? 
so anyway so when you whenever we start with the tempo we'll always first thing that you should come and you should think is what is the speed what is the bpm okay and all these things is very really, very really easily we can manage with the metronome not with the tabla we should never practice any technical thing with the tabla always you should use metronome i will tell you why okay so first was the beat which what is the beat it's a sound which is uniformly divided so this one this is a beat what is the tempo the rate of this beat that is called the tempo okay the speed of this sound that is called the tempo which is measured in bpm beats per minute beats per minute beat per minute or beats per minute bpm okay and the third thing is a beat cycle now what is this beat cycle so beat cycle means see whenever we play anything musically not the technically i am not talking about alankar even alankar has a beat cycle but suppose if we take example of song right mm. ek pyar ka nagma hai dara 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 so this is in a beat but see after every four beat the first beat has a more weightage okay so when we are playing anything in the tempo it's not only the beats but it is a weightage also and that weightage comes after every certain period okay if it is four then after every fourth beat you will be having weightage suppose if i take another example bade acche lagte hain nadar na nadar na nadar na dara 1 so here the weightage is after 6 beat every 6 beat okay so same way it can be after every 7 beats like tara tara ra ra tara ra tara tara ra 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 the cycle is 7 okay how to know which song is following what cycle just you calculate the weight to weight beat okay if you are get, getting weight here the next time when you are getting the weight how many beat it has passed okay if it is a 6 then it is a 6 beat cycle that means 1 2 3 4 5 6 then again it will come to 1 the weightage come when you return to 1 okay see i i put the 7 beat cycle 2 3 4 5 6 Two. I increase the tempo. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if I put four beat cycle. One, two, three, four. 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 So beat cycle means it's a cycle of weightage. Okay. For how many beat you will you need a weightage in the repetition, and it will never change. In a one song, if it is a four beat cycle, throughout it will be four beat cycle. It won't be after some time it will be five beat cycle. No, it will always be four beat cycle. Okay. I'll give you the example is Alanka. Suppose if I want to play Sa Re Ga Ma, one two three four. Okay. So Sa Re Ga Ma Re Ga Ma Pa Ga Ma Pa Da. Then we choose what beat cycle? Four beat cycle. But suppose if I want to play one two one two three. Sare sare ga re ga re ga ma one two three four five one two three. So different alankar has a different beat cycle. Okay. So what happens when you are playing with the tabla? Tabla means tal. Okay. And the tal means the beat cycle. When I say three tal, it's a sixteen beat cycle. Okay. So it will only accommodate the four beat cycle things into it. It will not accommodate five beat cycle. It will not accommodate seven beat cycle. It will go wrong with them. Okay. So whenever we play any alanka or anything, should always with the metronome. In the metronome, either you select the particular cycle as per the alanka, or if you don't want to go with this selection of cycle, you make it neutral. Okay. How to make the neutral? Neutral means there will be no any cycle. that means your cycle will be of one beat only that is called one beat per bar one beat cycle okay like this see so i will select in a cycle only one beat so each beat will sound the same way tick 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 okay no cycle at there so with this you can change the alanka whatever alanka you want okay because it's a neutral 
But if you have selected some cycle, then you, you can only play that alanka which suits with that cycle particularly. Okay, and then when you change the alanka, you change the cycle again. Okay. okay, so three things we need to consider. One is a beat that whenever we play the note, we'll target exactly it should be on the beat. Second is a tempo. Okay, that is a speed. So we'll start with some uh, slow tempo. And then we'll increase every 10 BPM with every alanka. Suppose I play one alanka at 60 BPM, then I will play another alanka at 70 BPM, 80 BPM, 90 BPM. This way we'll keep on increasing the tempo. And a third thing is a cycle. So for now we'll keep the cycle neutral. There will be no cycle. There will be only beats there. Okay. In the metronome, whatever app you use, you will see it's a beat per bar. Okay. The beat per bar that means cycle. Bar means cycle. Okay, so if it is a 4 beat per bar, it is written 4 by 4. Okay, that by 4 means a cycle. If it is a 3 beat per bar, it will be written 3 by 4. Okay, so you see by 4, by 8, that means it is a cycle. Before that, whatever the number is that, that is the beat cycle particularly. Okay, so for now we are neglecting the beat cycle. We are just taking 1 beat per bar at 60 BPM. Okay, see this one. And we'll sing that alankar satu sa, then we play the alankar patupa. Okay? Should be striking exactly on the beat. Okay, let's go. One, two, singing. Three, four. Sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga re sa. Let's play. One, two, three, start. note you can just note it down otherwise you just remember we started the first alankar at 60 bpm okay see that list of alankar that we had where it is one followed by one two this one so we played the first alankar one at 60 bpm now we will play the second alankar at 10 BPM higher, that is 70 BPM. Okay, so this alankar at 60, this alankar at 70, this at 80, this at 90, 100, and onwards. Okay, so now in your practice, once you are done at al one alankar at some BPM, increase it by 10. So now I put it 70 BPM. Every time we sing new alankar, we have to Every time we go for new alankar, we have to sing it first. While singing, also decide that where you will take breath. Suppose now we are going for 1 2. Okay, so now 70 BPM. Sa re re ga 
the so i decided to have take take the breath after every two breaths okay don't go much longer what is the, whatever your capacity you just make half of it maximum if i can sing four phrases in a one breath then i can maximum should go up to two breath two cycle only two phrases only okay so in every two phrases we we'll sing i will take a breath okay one two three start sa re re ga ga ma ma pa pa da dha ni ni sa sa ni ni da dha pa pa ma ma ga ga re re sa one two three start here is very interesting thing is here see when we play sa re re ga we have to multiply re okay we, we need to make two re now what are the possible techniques that you can use to multiply the note with itself so if you want to play sa 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 how can i play in the flute okay so there are multiple techniques one very basic is you just cut the blow okay like this so you blow separately and this way you can you know make the uh, the notes divide but it is sound very basic and with this we cannot play with the faster speed okay the second and very popular is a through stroke now what is stroke stroke is means when you are blowing you blow with a two t u okay the way we said two the moment that our tongue takes with the same tongue movement you blow like two 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 Two, two, two. Now remember, the stroke should be always there in your practice. No matter if you are going to repeat the note or not, whatever you play right now on onwards, you try to play with the stroke. Why? Because you now when we are playing something, we are singing inside our mind, like sa re ga ma. So this stroke gives that imagination a place. If you blow just notes like this, this is so hollow. that your mind cannot understand that where exactly we are playing the sa where re where ga where ma but if you have a tendency of giving stroke to 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 then we can you know imagine that two is a sa that two is a re that two is a ga so it gives more clear sound to mind and clear sound to the audience as well okay so from now onwards whatever you play first you should be singing okay don't play anything without singing the name Right? and then along with that name which is coming through your mind you give stroke on to the note hmm? see the same alankar let's say first alankar now same stroke we use to multiply the notes like sa 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 if you want to do you said to 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 keep the blowing continue we don't need to stop the blowing with the continue blow we go like this
whatever we play, we play with the stroke. Now with the stroke, playing the second alankar will be very easy. So sa re re the second time when you need a second re, you just stroke in on 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 the re. Okay, so like this. the same would be also get multiplied re re ga ga we can have it okay and also playing with the stroke will help you to be into the tempo okay because you stroke it when there is a beat not before the beat not after the beat all exactly on the beat hmm? like this tu 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 okay one this was the second way first was a very basic was that through blow second through the stroke and the third way of multiplying the note is through tapping okay now what is tapping tapping means taking kan kan means a particle of the down note you just touch and come back in a order to split that note suppose if i want to play sa 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 so every time between this two sa i will very quickly go and touch the ni and this way i can break sa into multiple sa hmm? see okay sa 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 so tapping is required for the second note not for the first one okay suppose if i want to play four sa i will need only three tapping first for the second sa second for the third sa and the third for the fourth sa okay for first sa we don't need anything sa 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 re 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 ga 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 ma 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 now in the case of pa the tapping note is a ma okay and if you want to play the tapping of pa through ma you need to have very quick fingering okay because you just need to touch ma and come back so like this shortcut to that is you keep the ma finger open like what we were discussing in the first half rest all the finger close just lift this finger okay this will give you pa and closing this will give you ma okay pa 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 like this okay when it is close it will give you pa when it is open it will give you ma okay pa 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 right correct condition is this should be at the half if this will be in the full it will combine tivrama 
Tivra Mapa, Tivra Mapa, like this. For that, we have to have this finger at the half. Okay? So, this way you, we play Pa, this way we can play Ma. This is only for the fast communication. Okay? Sudhuma. Sudhuma. Pa, 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 Pa. Only this ring finger. Okay? And this will be half throughout. Pa, Pa, Pa. No, it's a ma, suddhama. Suddhama, we are going. Pa to ma to again pa. So, like when we were playing sa, 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 that time we were touching knee. Okay. Same way, if we are playing pa, 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 we are trying to touch ma, but it is so fast that we don't have time to actually play ma in a correct way and come back to pa. So, what we just do is shortcut that we keep this ma as it is and we just open this, this finger. So, it will become ma. Okay, in a quick, in a quick conversation. Yeah, then it should be close. This half ma. Yes, this will open all the close. This is pa, and this is ma. Only one finger lift. The ring finger. Yeah. See. Pa pa pa. You can also open these two fingers if it is if you have a time. Another way, you take a, see, anyway, why, why we need an uh, extra note, just to break the continuity, okay. So, that can be the next note also. So, what I want to say, we can take a turn of dha for sweeting the pa, it is also possible, like this. Pa. Anyway, our, object, our, our objective is to just break the pa, no. So, either you break it through ma or you break it through dha, the case is the same. But if you break it through ma, it will sound uniform because all the other notes we are breaking from its down notes. Okay? Can be either from previous note or? Can be either from the next note also. But it should be very quick. It should be very quick. It should not be slow. If you will take it slow, it will be considered as a slide, like this. This is slide. This is not tapping. Tapping is This is okay. Try to take, get it from ma. If it is not coming, then from the. Now, for the case of the, we tap on pa. Very easy. Correct. Exactly. This way. Very easy. Da, 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 da. Play one two. So sa re re ga. There for the second ray we will tap, not for the first ray. Okay. See. Sa re re ga. Up with this ma. 
वी गो वन बाय वन आप ट्राई करिए वेरी गुड वेरी गुड अभी वो पॉ के लिए क्या कर सकते हैं दिस फिंगर वेरी गुड वेरी गुड डाउन वेरी गुड टेपिंग वेरी गुड Then this is again pa, 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 pa. Yeah. Correct. Just keep this half when when you are going for ma. Pa. This is actually half. Pa, 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 pa. Correct. Good. Let's try again. When you are taking breaths, then we don't need to multiply because through the new breath it will already multiply. So, but if I play, sa re re ga ga. So, if I am taking breath on ga, that means ga is already split. Then you don't need to tap again. See. As I have, you know, changed my blow, that means ga has been split already. Then you just go for ga ma ma pa. so tapping is required when your blow is continuing if you are breaking your blow that then that time you don't need to tap again anyway with your new blow it will be new note there 
okay try it but don't don't take breath after every breath ha hmm correct down then you don't don't need to tap sa ni ni da then you need to tap this alankar is a uh, you know uh, because we have very short phrases so we may not get a perfect uh, practice for tapping for the best practice of tapping you go for 1111 that is sa 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 re 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 ga 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 that you will get the tap you are tapping for the first note for first note we don't require tapping for the second note correct pada dhani ah sa ni ni da not for sa sa will be direct very good nice but remember the first note we don't require tapping it's only for the second time when you repeat we require tapping sir gamma mapa down correct down for the use pa when you are going to padani that time you are skipping the uh, tapping so pada dhani ni sa correct sa re re ga re ga ga ma ga ma ma pa ga ma ma pa ga ma ga play ga ha kar pa ma ma ga ga re re sa sa ni ni dha ani ni da
with this part da pa pa ma ma kare ma ga ga re ga re re sa sa ni ni da sa ni ni da ni with the you can try g that will be smaller than this okay so this to be practiced at 70 bpm okay yeah this alanka to be practiced at 70 bpm metronome 70 now we go for the third alanka 1 2 3 okay 8 8 bpm next alanka 1 2 3 1 2 3 sa rega that alanka okay so we'll first sing into sa to sa sa rega rega ma ga ma pa ma pa da pa da ni da ni sa sa ni da ni da pa da pa mo pa ma ga ma ga re ga re sa when you take breath after every two breaths okay see sa re ga re
Si. Ok? Hai. Let's. Nisari. या So there we try to put each note on the beat. Sa re ga re ga ma ga ma pa ma pa da like this. Okay. Okay. So with each new alankar, we'll increase the BPM by 10. So okay. first alankar we played at 60. Second alankar we played at 70 BPM. T said 80 BPM. Okay. And whichever alankar that we are going to play that alankar we should sing before playing it with okay. the tempo once we are done with singing then only we go and play it yeah. and also we have to fix the frequency of breath suppose if i am yeah. playing this alankar though i can play let's say four or five phrases in one breath but i would go to take phrase take breath every after two phrases okay yeah. so sa re ga re ga ma ga ma pa ma pa da pa da ni da ni sa sa ni da ni da pa da pa ma pa ma ga ma ga re ga re sa and the same thing same way i will do when i will play okay try sir playing play this Okay. Very good. Okay. So every time we start the alankar we first sing it. Once we are good with the singing, then we go to play it and at the playing time we we our mind should be singing this alankar. It should not be like you know we are we are putting on the fingers then we may skip some phrases. Every time mm. we have to sing with the mind on the beat, mm. and then you go proceed this alankar. Okay? Mm. So this okay. way, each alankar will go increasing 10 BPM from that list. Okay. You get that list of the alankars? No, I can't see it. Yeah, you see that in the group. There you will okay. get the the list of the alankars. Okay. 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 Yes. okay. Wo photo post kiya hai na? Yes, the pictures are there. Okay, now we go for the next alankar. One, two, three, four, eight, ninety BPM. 
okay so we'll first sing this how would this go 1 2 3 4 sa re ga ma oh, sorry not 1 2 3 4 1 3 okay 1 3 with 1 3 with 80 bp 90 bpm 1 1 3 should be at the 80 bpm yes correct correct any other card it can be just with the changing tempo it should be okay so one three we are going sa ga re ma ga pa ma dha pa ni da sa sa ga ni pa da ma pa ga ma re ga sa so you try B. Sa ga. Sa ga. One three. Same. Pa tu pa. Dasa. Beat, 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 beat. Re ma da pa ma dha ma dha. Pa ni da sa ni re sa ga re ma da pa. Very good. But also you should practice of singing this alanka with the tempo. Yeah. So that we know exact beat, exact note, then we go for the playing. Okay? So try. Pa pa. Sa ga re ma ga pa ma dha pa With the 90 BPM, we go for 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so we'll just sing 1, 2, 3, 4, 90 BPM. 1, 2, 3, start. Sa, re, ga, ma, re, ga, ma, pa, ga, ma, pa, da, ma, pa, da, ni, pa, da, ni, sa, sa, ni, da, pa, ni,
tempo beat 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 Very good. Now same for two part. Nisa Rekha. Sing. Sing the Lanka. Inside your mind. Pada Nisa. Dha Nisa Re. with the tempo okay once you get all the phrase correctly then we go for playing it and while playing we should be singing inside the mind if we don't sing then there will be skip of the phrase okay. so try it again it's a sab acha Just try to take breath after every two phrases. Pada ni sa ni sa re. Correct. when we play alanka three things go together first is a sequence like padani sa dani sa re ni sa re ga sa re ga ma they should go inside the mind second is the breath that after two phrases means every after two phrases we have to take breath we cannot skip it otherwise if you say what happen if you if you keep on playing the same breath the time where you will require the breath it will take so much of time that it will go out of beat okay because you need the full breath there But if you take periodically, then you need a very short breath that can handle the tempo with the tempo. Okay, so three things: the notes. That's what should be the next. Second is the breath frequency. That after every two or four phrases, the third is the tempo. That each note should be coming exactly on the beat, not the before, not the after. Okay. okay? Now we again increase 10 BPM, 100 BPM. Then we go for one to one to three. Okay. So. We'll just sing that one, two, one, two, three first. Sare, sare ga. This one, one, two, one, two, three. Okay. Yes. 
same way pa to pa okay sri krishna ji try playing pa to pa same alankar correct करेक्ट प म प म ग सानी सानी द गुड सो दिस टेम्पो इज हंड्रेड बी पी एम this way okay. each alankar dhu alankar we get 10 bpm higher we sing it while singing will take care of breath and sequence and then we'll go for playing it at that okay very good you have any question anything till now you have any question to ask no no okay ki good ha aap mein se koi try kariye sir aap try kariye 1 2 1 2 3 Very good.
correct then we increase it by 10 bpm 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 okay three notes then the frame same reference four notes 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 okay see let's go with the sa to sa 1 2 3 start sa re ga sa re ga ma re ga ma re ga ma pa ga ma pa ga ma pa da ma pa da ma pa da ni pa da ni pa da ni sa sa ni da sa ni da pa ni da pa ni da pa ma da pa ma da pa ma ga pa ma ga pa ma ga re ma ga re ma ga re sa okay let's play one two three start Then we play part two part. One, two, three, start. Padani, padani, sa, dani, sa, dani, sa, re, ni, sa, re, ni, sa, re, ga, sa, re, ga, sa, re, ga, ma, re, ga, ma, re, ga, ma, pa, ga, ma, pa, ga, ma, pa, da. Ma pa da ma pa da ni pa da ni pa da ni sa da ni sa da ni sa re ni sa re ni sa re ga sa re ga sa re ga ma re ga ma re ga ma pa pa. Then second last lanka. What it was? Breath. Cycle. This can be one, two, three, one, two, three, four, four, five, seven beat cycle. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3. The metronome is without tempo, without cycle now. Yes, because when we change the alankar, you have to change the uh, cycle every time. So, better you, when you are practicing this alankar, better you don't do with a cycle. You do with a normal one bit there. When we play something musical, this is not a musical, this is a technical practice. Let's say you are playing some song or composition or something. Then you choose a beat cycle. Here we don't need actually beat cycle there. But if you want to put it, it should be seven beat cycle there. You count the number of notes in one phrase. That should be your beat cycle. Suppose one, two, one, two, three. There are five notes. So five beat cycle. Okay. Now we are going to play one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two. Okay. What was the alankar? Sa re ga ma pa ma ga re 
रे ग डिसेंडिंग सानी दी द रे ग रे सारे गाउ सेम विथ हाउ मेनी वन ट्वेंटी बीपीएम वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट सारे गे रे रे ग डिसेंडिंग सानी दी लेट्स ट्राई इफ यू कैन नॉट ट्राई वील रीट इज द टेम्पो देर आफ्टर वन टू थ्री चार I will sing. You can play. Okay. One, two, three, start. Pa da ni sa re sa ni da da ni sa re ga re sa ni ni sa re ga ma ga re sa sa re ga ma pa ma ga re re ga ma pa da pa ma ga ga ma pa. सारे गे सारे गे ओके दिस द फॉर सपोज दिस अलंकार इज न्यू टू यू इफ यू कैन नॉट नो प्ले दिस पार्ट यू प्ले विदाउट टेम्पो ना वॉट इज द क्रोनोलॉजी दैट वी गो फर्स्ट फोर नोट पदी सा From the second, next we come four notes down. So re sa ni da, okay? Da ni sa re, ga re sa ni, ni sa re ga, ma ga re sa, sa re ga ma, pa ma ga re, re ga ma. Ma pa da ni sa ni da 
Ga ma pa 
what is the summary for today what we did first blowing then holding that is sleeping then posture after making correct it we understood that there are three octaves in music in general lower octave middle octave higher octave and we don't have all three octaves in our flute we have half of the lower octave pajani full middle octave saregama pajani and half of the higher octave saregama pa okay so total 3 plus 7 plus 5 15 major notes that we can play through the basri then we came to the alankar where we can process them in a different different way just to master them okay so from one end to another end we go with 1 2 3 and 1 2 3 for all these things so there we decide some different rules like 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 anything whatever comes to your mind you can define it and then you process it in a real time okay you don't need to write it you don't need to remember it you just go on the way if if it is difficult you go very slow suppose if you if i want to process 1 2 3 4 and this text sa re ga ma then i think okay it was a sa now it's done for re so re ga ma pa even this speed is okay okay because you are doing it in a real time that is important once you will do one alankar second alankar will come very soon Okay. the third alankar even it will you know we will understand very better so if you can if you want to write you can write just one or two alankar just to understand how it gets developed okay then you just understand the process better you sing it singing is the best way to practice this alankar okay and while singing you also need to consider the breath frequency whether you will take it in two phrases or one four phrases or every one phrase you will take breath that is up to you but you should take it as frequent as possible you should not delay your breath okay and then we start 
playing this alankar with the beat okay that is called tempo or, or rhythm okay in that what we do we start with the 60 bpm even you can start with the lesser 50 bpm 40 bpm whatever you find so generally we take it as 60 bpm so 60 alankar, 60 bpm you chase any alankar if you find that those last alankars are more difficult than what we were just playing you start with the 60 bpm those alankars okay and then you go in the reverse order the second at 70 70 bpm the third last at 80 bpm in any order but with the changing of alankar you should change the tempo that is increasing with the 10 bpm okay and this way you go up to 120 or 130 or 140 bpm but the combination of beat and swar is one beat one note okay that is what we call as a single that means in one beat time we are playing only one note right? so in the single our target is to move from 60 bpm to 120 bpm minimum if you go beyond 120 bpm that is good not a problem okay now if you want to go faster than 120 bpm okay so then rather than going 130 140 150 what is the good way that you again come to 60 bpm okay and there we will play one beat two notes okay like see what we were doing sa re ga ma each note was taking full one beat now if the same one beat time you divide into two okay like sa re ga ma pa da ni sa okay so from this ground zero is a sa this is 0.5 time okay here you will put the second note re then again you are going towards ground zero that is a beat number two there we put ga here we put again ma so that is the one beat time is divided into 0 0.5 0 0.5 so 0 to 0 0.5 is a one beat is the one note time 0 0.5 to again zero is a second note time so in a one beat we have two notes so now if my rate of beat is 60 bpm my rate of notes is 120 bpm okay see if i set 60 bpm in metronome okay if i sing sa re ga ma this is 60 bpm one beat one note but if i sing sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga re sa sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga re sa this is called double okay why it is double because in a one beat we have two notes accommodated and the second note should be exactly at 0.5 it should not come before 0.5 okay see sa re re ga ga ma in this also we have one beat two notes but they are not equally spaced okay it is like sa is 0.25 re is taking 0.75 okay it should be sa re ga ma so if we clap so one note at the this point when the sound is there second note will be at the time when your hands are at the farthest distance okay so sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga re sa like this okay so the best way to know whether what you are calculating is correct double not or not so you take only two notes okay for example sa and re and then you rotate it with the beats every time the sa should be on the beat hmm? see sa re sa re sa re sa re sa re sa re see every time when i am singing sa it is hitting the beat that means in a one beat time i am accommodating re also i am accommodating sa also okay sa re sa re sa re sa re sa re sa now take next two ga ma ga ma ga ma ga ma ga ma ga ma now sing four into two beats sa re ga ma sa re ga ma sa re ga ma sa re ga ma so we will have beat on sa we will have beat on ga and now this whatever tempo that you have considered you continue in that tempo sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga re sa sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga re sa okay sir try just sing two notes first sing singing just two 
Every time sa should be on the beat. Sa re. Only sa re. Two notes. Beat. It's slightly missing the beat. Again, listen to the beat carefully. Slightly getting off. See, when, when there is a beat, suppose this is a sa. Sa, 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 sa. Now between two sa, we put re. Sa, re, sa, re, sa, re, sa, re, sa, re. Very good. Correct. This is the tempo, double. Now four. Sare gama means two beat. One beat sare, second beat gama. Sare gama sare. In one beat we have sa, second beat we have ga exactly on them. Sare gama. Very good. Now, this same speed we continue the full alankar. Sare gama pada misa B. Only ascending. Sare gama pada misa sani dapa maga resa. Perfect. Descending is slightly missing the beat. Sani tapa maga resa. Sani tapa maga resa. Beat. Is it missing? Sari tapa maga desa. Sani tapa maga desa. Sani tapa maga desa. Sani tapa maga desa. Correct. Now play the same alanka. Sare gama pada nisa. Ma is there already, no? So sare gama pada. One first alanka. Sare gama pada nisa. Very good. Very good. Now same thing if you play part two part. Pada ni sa re ga ma pa da ni sa re ga ma pa. Very good. Perfect. Okay. So we can say when we play double. The alternating notes are on the beat. Sare gama pada. So through that we can judge the tempo. Whether we are in tempo or not correctly. The alternative notes should coming onto the beat without missing. Okay. Yes. Or can try karenge? Or try kariye? You try the second alanka. One two. 
सारे रेगा गामा मापा वेरी गुड स्लाइटली इट हैज अ टेंडेंसी ऑफ स्लाइटली हायर वो एक्जेक्टली विद बीट वेरी गुड डेट पार्ट मग अगर रेसा स्लाइटली गोइंग फास्टर एक्जेक्टली ऑन द बीट करेक्ट नाउ नाउ इन द सेम वे वॉट वी डीड इन द सिंगल अलंकार हियर ऑल्सो विथ एवरी न्यू अलंकार you increase the tempo okay if you find 10 bpm will be so higher because see if you are playing at 60 bpm double that is 120 if you go directly 70 bpm double that will be 140 okay so if you are capable enough to take that speed then it is good okay if not then you increase 5 bpm okay so 60 then 65 double of 65 then 70 okay then 85 then 90 like this okay so i just increase it increase it by 5 bpm Yes. So now, if we want to play one, two, three, okay, alankar one, two, three in double. So what is the problem? See, one note will be on the beat, second note will be off beat, like sa re, and the ga will be on the beat, which is the half of the beat, and your phrase is finished now. Okay. Now remaining half, you have to start the second phrase. Okay, so it's like this. Sa re ga re ga ma ga ma pa ma pa da pa da ni da ni sa. Okay, see, so technically it's the same thing, but you will not find the weightage on the second phrase. Okay. So sa re ga re ga ma 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 sa. Okay. So best way to play this alankar is you understand the two beats. Okay. So first is a sa re. Second beat will have ga. And what is the fourth note on that re? re of re gama okay so we take two beats that will need four notes okay which are there sa re ga and re of re gama so you just accommodate sa re ga re into two beats correctly okay see sa re ga re 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 now once you get this tempo then you remember the alanka and just go with the alanka so sa re ga re ga ma ga ma pa ma pa da pa da ni da ni sa sa ni da ni da pa da pa ma pa ma ga ma ga re ga re sa but what is the starting just two beat two beat four notes sa re ga re sa re ga re sa re ga re so this we understand the tempo and then we continue so such alankar are called old alankars why it is old because the number of notes are old 3 5 7 5 so when we play this alankar in double it will always take your half beat remaining and from the second half of that your alankar new phrase will start suppose sa re ga now it is half finished re ga ma now it is complete then ga ma pa so one phrase would start on the beat second phrase would start off the beat okay and then we have to maintain that timing 
that is important okay sa re ga re ga ma ga ma pa ma pa da pa da ni da ni sa sa ni da ni da pa da pa ma pa ma ga ma ga re ga re sa like this okay आप ट्राई करिए गाने की हाँ टेम्पो ठीक है सिक्वेंस भी ठीक है इसमें सांस लेना है सपोज वी टेक्स ब्रेथ आफ्टर एवरी टू फ्रेजेस Are ga re ga ma ga ma pa ma pa da pa da ni da ni sa sa ni da ni da pa da pa ma pa ma ga ma ga re ga re sa. Okay. इसी तरीके से बजाइए सांस लेते हो दो फेज़ में. जाते वक्त भी एक जैसा टेम्पो बना रहना चाहिए उसको पूरा गाने से उसके बाद वो आ जाएगा क्या जोशी जी यू गेट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डबल गॉट इट या सो वी आर ट्राइंग टू पुट वन नोट ऑन द बीट सेकंड नोट ऑफ द बीट ओके वॉट एवर अलंकार सो सपोज वी आर ट्राइंग वन टू थ्री सो सारे दिस इज ऑन द बीट दिस इज ऑफ द बीट ओके सारे गे गैट टू वी हैव टू टेक ब्रेथ आफ्टर एवरी टू फ्रेज इज and after four phrases whatever frequency we decide so with that breath pattern we continue this double note per beat okay, okay. try you have metronome with you no i am not i am metronome i i play my metronome okay <laughs> one thing after the class whenever you have time you record it with the metronome and send it to me on whatsapp audio okay because in my metronome when you play it it is some delay that i cannot oh, yeah. judge correctly but yes. if you can play it your side and then send it to me i will tell you that uh, whatever rectification done uh, it is required okay so this is the double of double practice that we started at 60 bpm and mm -hmm. with the every new alanka you increase 5 bpm 
okay one alanka at 60 other as 65 other as 70 bpm like this okay till we get the 120 bpm again so that will be actually 240 bpm there oh yeah okay yes very good yes ah or kon bajayenge suppose if we go to 1 2 3 4 very easy why because it's a, it has a four notes so it will complete the beat sare gama re gama pa gama pa da like this at 70 bpm sir aap try kariye sir try kariye gaane ki try kariye double ke liye iske sath sare gama beat beat okay first just take one phrase sare gama उस पर कहां कहां पे बीट आएगी सा एंड गा सारे गम सारे गम थोड़ा मिस कर रहा है करेक्ट ये भी टेम्पो सेट हो गया अभी हम पूरा अलंकार में बढ़ सकते हैं आगे सारे गामा रे गामा पा वेरी गुड वेरी गुड मगरे सा ट्राइ प्लेन प्लेन Try play. Very good. Correct. What to pop? One two three four. Pada ni sa da ni sa re. That is first alanka. One two three four. Pada ni sa da ni sa re ni sa re ka. One two three four. From pa pada ni sa from dha dha ni sa re from ni ni sa re ka like this. बीट बीट
this little bit you need to work on lower speed okay first so then when you come to this speed it will be good okay. so this was the concept of double still we have you know few more langas to do this is i am just giving you the intro so at today homework is you try to play all those alankar that what we have discussed at any speed okay single and then you try to play those alankar at any speed double okay just understand how the single works how the double works okay the best way is to first sing it and then to play it with them okay so we have just completed one round single double we haven't completed double i have just introduced you tomorrow again we will play the double and part two part that is four notes into one beat double of this okay so this take at least so long time it is not a matter of one day even that going from 60 bpm to 120 bpm single can take up to one month okay so my duty for here this workshop is to just give you the syllabus okay and just to make you understand that what should be the practice doesn't mean that you go today and if you finish all the thing we do single double both if you can do it it is very good if not then you just note down the thing that what you are going to practice in the future okay so your first practice is to understand the alankars without metronome forget about single double anything without metronome whatever number you are you are having 1 2 3 or 1 2 3 4 you should be able to sing it and you should be able to play it without metronome fine once you are good with that then you on the metronome there you start at the 60 bpm or maybe 50 bpm very slow one bit one note okay then you increase 10 bpm 70 bpm 80 bpm 90 bpm with a different alankar okay and reach up to the 120 bpm single okay it may take one month maybe more than one month let it take whatever it is once it is finished don't go for 130 140 150 bpm there is not required come to 60 again and then we in implement one bit two notes there okay so through this you can achieve 120 and onwards speed also same time you are understanding how to play one bit two notes okay that is more important because in practical music we never play the tabla and whatever percussion instrument that fast what you are playing that much fast okay you are always playing fast in the reference of that tempo okay suppose if i am playing at 400 bpm doesn't mean the tabla is being played 400 bpm it may be at 200 it may be at 100 maybe at 50 okay we are playing double of double of double like that so for that we need to have that understanding that how to play double of this this tempo okay then you come to uh, double and then will increase up to 120 bpm 60 70 80 double of 120 okay after double of 120 will come back to 60 again there will play four notes into one beat okay so four notes into one beat what we call as a quadruple or jogun or playing four notes sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga re sa so one beat combines four notes that will be our next practice tomorrow and that too will take up to 120 bpm okay so it will be 480 bpm it may take further two months or three months no matter but this is the syllabus of your practice that we understand the alankars after understanding alankar play them without tempo then play with tempo in a three round each round starts at 60 bpm finish it on 120 bpm the first round play each note single second round play each note double okay one bit two notes in the third round play one bit four notes so at the end of one round you will be playing around 480 bpm speed okay then you go to learn and implement the slides okay that what we are going to learn tomorrow maybe second half so this is your syllabus so after going from here or maybe being here you write down these things not the whole process just to that i need to learn alankars without tempo with tempo in three round single double quadruple 60 to 120 bpm that's it you know this video will be there on youtube after this workshop so when you will again listen to this video you will remember everything what we have discussed okay and then you can practice or you can join my class also afterwards there's a difference but for now you just understand the concept what is single double quadruple and understand your practice that what you need to do it clear so we, we end the today's lecture here what we what we did we did the holding blowing then posture then making alankars with tempo single okay double we just introduced tomorrow again we will learn this things okay so you have any question regarding this what we have discussed till now or anything out of this also would be welcome
anything pdf notes printed notes no we don't i don't have because i don't prefer to write it the most thing that you write is this thing. you write part to part write this along this this uh, you know numbers and do it in a real time this is more better you know because if we start reading and writing it it will be very difficult to remember better you process in a real time this thing okay yes joshi ji if you want to ask anything for today no okay thank you sir thank you so much so we'll meet tomorrow same day same time 10 o'clock oh yeah no problem yes thank you so today's as as per my promise we'll play something i will play something you tell me what you want to listen any hey, raga evening raga which raga okay actually this is not evening yet it's a four o'clock <laughs> it's a late afternoon what we call as a sandhi prakash okay sarangi vrindavani sarang vrindavani sarang it's a good raga but actually vrindavani sarang belongs to afternoon that is somewhat about 12 pm between 3 pm so this time it is called sandhi prakash time so sandhi prakash means a, a time where light is either going to zero from the lighting part it's going to zero like evening or from zero to it's going to brighter like in the morning okay so we have specific ragas for this time when it is going to sandhi prakash so this Marwa. is called marwa is, marwa is little late for this time it is either patdeep bimpalasi and uh, multani and one more is there madhubandi correct okay so these are the specific raga for this time when it is going to sunset okay so this is a sunset time neither afternoon neither the evening you know that time so we'll go for uh, this bimpalas okay just a uh, short alap in bimpalasi and all this vrindavani sarang also will play for sure okay all the all your requests we will we play each raga yes sure sure thank you
सो इट वॉज आलाप जोर एंड जाला जाला एंड दैट वॉट बी जनरली स्टार्ट द रागा विथ देन इट गेट फॉलोड बाई the composition that can be with the tabla in any cycle 6 beat 7 beat 8 beat that will that is a part of our learning that will again learn the same thing. okay so the best way of sharing the music is through performance only, only. see so in this alang this things i play many alang okay. but in a short part during the alap also during the show so what we are practicing this is going to be used in improvising the raga in the alap jor jala all the way. okay and anyway the music is a very long journey what i have learned in my 10 years that i am going to deliver in 5 days <laughs> okay so don't take tension that you are not getting what is happening just experience it try to understand what i am conveying how to practice what to practice and just get it noted okay it will take years it will take you know many times to you know, come and overcome all this problem just my role is to show you the path that's nothing else okay Thank you sir thank you so much okay, okay thank you thank you yeah